Hello everyone, Chico here, and welcome to the first ever installment of King of the Banlist, a show in which I'll be taking various banlist prediction videos and, and comparing those to the actual banlist. By doing so, we will determine who actually has an uncle at Konami, is working for them, or has the ability to get into their brains. That person will be dubbed King of the Banlist, and will have the honor of sitting on the banlist throne. Some might wonder what I want to accomplish with that, which is a valid question, I have no idea. Before we get to that, a little explanation on how how I am going to determine the winner of the contest. I'll be using a point system. The points will be awarded per card using the following method. Plus one point for every card predicted correctly, but not the placement of the card. For example, the prediction stated that Dragon Buster Destruction Sword would be limited. Two points for every correctly predicted card. Minus one point for every card that was a part of the prediction, but not a part of the ban list. For example, the prediction stated True King of All Calamities would be banned, and it was not touched at all. All. Also, minus two points for every card that was part of the ban list but was not a part of the prediction. For example, the prediction didn't state True King's return in any way, shape, or form. The total score the prediction will get is the sum of the points it earns in this method. In order to adjust for the side of the prediction list, I decided to determine the winner not by points total but by the points per card. And also, for me not to say point all the time. Time, uh, the points per card will be multiplied by a hundred. Now that the rule were explained, I would like to introduce our <coughs> willing candidates for the title of the king of the banlist and for the right to sit on the banlist throne. Here they are in alphabetical order. Now that the candidates were introduced, it's time to see the ban list. And we're going back to Jacobo from the past, who's reacting live to the ban list as it's announced. Back to you, buddy. What is up, guys? Jacobo here, and welcome. Today, just the ban list dropped. This is a part of the King of the Ban List video, which is my live reaction to the ban list. So, yeah, I. So, a little story. I was coming back from. Uh, from work, since uh, my neighbor was running so much, they decided me. They decided to get me back to the office. So yeah, that is a thing. So I got some groceries, and then somehow my messages started and started bumping. I got a message after message, notification after notification, and that's when I, when I learned that the ban list dropped, so I turned off my phone and that was it. So yeah, let's see. Okay, Astrograph Sorcerer is still banned, this is good. Log Dragon is still banned. Oh, Blaster is... okay. Cyber Jar... Oh... well... Oh... Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. That was... This is bad since I have to rework my Buster Blader deck, but that is a thing that happens. Uh, well, 
the card was used in many, many decks with Union Carrier. I just hope that Union Carrier also gets a hit. Okay, this this is sad. This makes me sad, but it's not unexpected. Okay, Maxi is still banned, which is kind of polarizing. Wait, I see Go Bob and Jet Synchron, so I assume that Halky Fibrex is is still fine. Okay, so no no more monsters, no more mo effect monsters. Northern is still banned. Colossus is still banned. Fire Firewall Dragon is still banned. This is good. Link Cross. Okay. I didn't think they would hurt uh, Link Cross this early, but okay, I'm fine with this. No more Synchros banned, which is good. Wait, let me check one thing on the. Oh no, it's it's limited. I wanted to check the Infernity. Infernity uh, Launcher and Archfiend, but that's uh, in the limited section. Okay, let's look at Xyz. Nothing. Spells. Smoke Grenade. Okay. Wait. No more. No new Xyz. Fuck. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Only Smoke Grenade, which. Was very, uh, which was a very popular opinion in the predictions. So that was not an unexpected list, and that is it. I'm a bit sad about Dragon Buster, but other than that, I'm I'm fine. Also, they didn't ban talking of all calamities, which is bad. Okay, let's see about the limit. That's Armageddon Knight is still at one. Okay, Pankratops is still at 1, Birdman Archfiend is still at 1. Um, okay, Little Sad Jim Tempest. No new monsters. What about Master Diamond? Rusty Bardiche. No new Synchros. No new Xyz. So, True King of All Calamities is probably not going to get hit on this list. Let's see the spells. Monster Reborn still at 1, Origeki at 1, Out of the Mice, Cold by the Grave is still at 1. Damn it! Damn it, Konami! Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Engage is still banned, okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, nothing limited. True King's Return. Came back to two. Wait, there's only True King Return and Malicious. So, ABC Dragon Buster, totally awesome. Graph and Seer are unlimited now. Oh, and Mind Ogus. Okay. Didn't think they would have unbanned Mind Ogus. Hmm. Huh. Okay. So, that is. A thing. So this is the ban list. I'm. I my my feelings are mixed about this, but that's not the point of this video. So let's see how everyone got their predictions wrong. With all of that done, let's see who is the best at determining Konami's moves at the ban list. Before we do that, let's scroll over the list of everyone who didn't make it to the podium. Yeah. 
Now for the third place, the bronze medal, or in this setting, the balanced princess. We actually have a tie between Just Nuts production and Nolan TCG, both with minus 7.69 points. Congratulations, guys! Now for the second place, silver medal, or the bandless prince, if you will. This is a threesome, actually, between Crash Cards, Danger Noodle TCG, and Julio. All tied for the second place with a whopping zero points. All three of them found perfect balance. However, that doesn't even come close to our king, the person who will be sitting on the banless throne, at least until March. The winner of this competition with 50 points, I present you. Alpha Trading Card Games. Congratulations to our king. Let his reign be long and prosperous. And with that, I would like to thank everyone who participated in this debacle. All things considered, I found this an interesting and extremely time consuming video to make. Not to mention that Christmas fever didn't really help with getting all this recorded and edited. However, it's here, and I hope you like this little exercise. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the project in the comments below. Anyway, see you next time. Bye bye.